We went to the harbor to clean up all the trash that had accumulated over the past year and winter, uh, and we found a lot more than garbage. So join Ryan, Lily, Aaron and I, and baby Sarah as we go treasure hunting. So the first place that we decided to look for treasure was this old shipwreck. We were hoping to find some old Mayan gold or something like that. This was Aaron's first cold water dive in a long, long time. And the water was still only six degrees because it was still early spring here and the boats hadn't gone into the harbor yet. They were scheduled to be going in in another week. This meant we had the entire harbor for ourselves and we didn't have to worry about dodging propellers. Aaron and Ryan had a near collision as they were swimming from either side of the wreck. And actually Ryan just got out of the way at the last second and Aaron didn't even notice at all. I guess Ryan's legs were getting tired so instead he just pulled himself along the wreck and it looked really fun. It doesn't look like there's any gold here today so instead we're just gonna move on to the inner harbor and see what we can find there. It was really fun exploring that shipwreck but now it's time for the hard work so let's get geared up and grab my bag and hop in. Let's see what we can find. So first I find a sock. What's going on with that? Who would lose their socks? What? And I find his other sock. Okay, well, this explains a lot. I found his beer bottle. He must have been drinking. And then I found a rusty washer and a rusty bolt. And then what? Someone's underwear. Who would lose their underwear? Probably the sock guy. Anyways, let's see what else we can find. There's a can. There's a ton of these today. Okay, and now these dock straps, I found a bazillion of them. So here's one, two, three, and it just keeps on going. I found this dock transition piece of steel, uh, and it was heavy, and I had to pull it out with both my hands so I didn't get that on camera. And I found a few more cans, and you can just see how beautiful the water is today. I'm really enjoying myself. These are really important that I pulled these out. These were solar panels with batteries still in them, so I had to make sure that I got those out right away. They have a lot of heavy metals and toxins that will leach into the environment and cause all sorts of damage. I found some sunglasses. Sock guy was really drunk and he lost his sunglasses too, I guess. So I gave those to Ryan, so maybe he can use them. Oh man, I found another beer bottle. Maybe there's something in it still. Let's try. Uh, nah, I don't want to drink that. I'll just put it in my bag. And another dog strap. Man, they got to figure out their system a little bit better. A wire. Uh, oh, and a hat. Let's try this on. Let's see. So I pull it out of the mud and it's actually my size. So this is really cool. I'm going to keep that for later. My wife's going to be impressed. So let's see what else we can find. A plastic bag or maybe that's a towel. No, it's a bag. Maybe it's a towel. Oh, but there's a plastic bottle. And let's see what this is. Private property. Uh oh, okay. Well, well, let's just hide that. Another dock strap thing and a bunch. What? Another? Oh boy. And here's another one. Oh man. How many am I going to have to pull out of these rocks? Another one and another one. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get those on the dock. And a tire. Who would be driving down here? Someone lost their tire while driving down under the water. Those people are crazy. And I found a spring from their car too. Ryan found a dock strap. And I found a number of these bumper buoys actually. And maybe people can actually reuse them because there's nothing wrong with them. They are just at the bottom of the lake where they're not very useful. Not too many boats are going to bump around down there. Uh, and then when you put them up on the dock, they just let out all their mud. There's a mug. Mm. And it was still full of coffee until I poured it all out. Some more cans. This one was a Monster Energy can and some plastic. Another can, another can, another can. How many cans? Too many cans. And in this section, I start to find a lot more heavy things like this metal pole here. That one was quite heavy. Gotta get that out. Uh, and then there's a rescue ladder. This ladder was actually for the dock, so they can use this again. I know exactly where it came from and I'll put it back. Oh, okay, now I found another hat, but this hat's not quite as cool as the other one that I found earlier, but uh, let's try it on. And it's actually my size, so that's great. I found two hats that are both my size. Oh, and I was about to go back up, but what do we find here? A baton, a relay baton, that's weird, okay. Another bumper buoy for boats, uh, that's so... Uh, oh. This looks like a good find. My friend Aaron found a surfboard. Oh wait, no, it's actually one of those dock transition pieces, so I'll get that out with him. They could probably reuse that one, actually. Aaron found a can, I found a can, and let's see what this is. A tin can for like some Campbell's soup or whatever. Uh, some bags, more plastic. Let's get that plastic out of there. And what's the, uh, is that a, yes, that's a Canada flag. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh, but it's actually only the middle section of a Canada flag, but I'll show my wife. She seems to like that. Oh, time for a break. Let's go eat something quick. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Now Lily puts me back to work and I find some more plastic. And what is that? Is that a ring? Nope. That's a little bit too big to fit on my finger. That's actually, let's get the zebra muscles off so that no one gets cut handling that. And let's see what we find here. Uh, I don't actually know what that is, but whatever. And some carpet. There's a lot of this and this stuff, uh, it's really heavy and there's so much that I can probably redo my whole house with all this carpet. Okay, what's this? A plastic thingy. I'm actually 
actually not sure what that is, but it needs to come out. And sure. time for a strawberry break. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Lily. I appreciate that. Ooh, a treasure chest. This has got to be the best find. Okay, no, it's just a barrel. A plastic bag, another one. Okay, some cans, more plastic, cans, more plastic. Nope, that's not plastic. That's actually a thick, heavy rope. Who would have put that there? Probably a cowboy or someone like that. Let's just get that out so that he can use it again. And there's another rope. This one's much thinner. Maybe it was a cow baby rope. Who knows? Let's just get that out. What is this? It's full of rocks. Someone had a rock collection. Oh boy. Let's get rid of those rocks. Those can go back. And what's this? A sign? A sign. Okay. Uh, what does it say? COVID. Okay. Well, my mask that I'm wearing right now should be good anyways. Hi, yeah, yeah. More carpet down here on the rocks. Who would put carpet over rocks? That's just silly. No one needs to put carpet on rocks. Don't they know that no one's gonna be walking around down there? So over here, it looked like there's some very heavy steel pieces and it looked like they actually came from this dock. So let's just get those out. One, two, three, swim those up and out they go. Those are pretty heavy. I'm glad to be done with them. And ooh, this thing looks heavy. Let's pull it out. I need Aaron's help. So you can grab that. And another dock strap. And Aaron empties off that bag. That's bag number three now. And then I found this whale harpoon thing. Oh wait, no, actually, you know what that is? That's a pool rescue tool with one of the hooks on the end for pulling bodies out. And a bulk barn bag, okay, I hope that there's some candy in here. Maybe it's still wrapped. Nope, that's not candy. That's for adults, I think. It's, uh, it's, it's sealed. Jesus. Oh, that's Dude. for you. <laughs> I don't drink it. No, me neither. Okay, it's getting late in the day, but let's do one more dive down on this airplane wing looking thing. Oh no, that's actually a dock. A dock underwater. Who's going to be parked there? Oh, a bike? So I guess a bike is parked at the dock and the bike is stuck in the mud. Let's pull this out. Oh no, I lost my fin. Okay, well first I got to get my fin back on and now keep pulling. Pull, pull, pull. This thing's really jammed in that mud. Oh man, it's a full bike. You can't quite see it yet, but oh my, that's a full bike. I got to swim this thing up. Oh man. All right, kick, 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 kick. I'm almost out of breath, but I don't want to let this thing go. This is just too much of a treasure. I don't want to drop it and never get it back. This is my bike now. Almost at the surface. Come on, come on. I can see Aaron. He's ready to help me pull it out. There's Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. I knew you had something heavy. Just the way you were swimming up. Yeah. Oh, man. Now let's take a closer look at that bike. Let's see if we can still use it. It still has two tires, it has pedals, it has handlebars and a seat, and it rolls, so that's promising. I guess some kids are running it off the dock. Or I want to see what my wife Lily's reaction is to all these treasures that we just found. These are some pretty cool things. I passed the chairs, which Ryan and Aaron pulled out earlier. She doesn't drink either, so she's going to go find the Harbor Master and see if he wants it. So much garbage. Ew. Oh. That's the bicycle. She's a bit rough, but she 